What's up, Ninja Nerds? In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about body planes and sections. This is another very core concept to introduction to anatomy and physiology. So if you guys like this video, it helps you, it makes sense, please support us by hitting that like button, commenting down in the comment section, and please subscribe. Also check out our website, we have a lot of great stuff there. If you guys want to, there's a link down in the description box below to go check that out. But body planes and sections, not a crazy amount of information, but it's a good core concept. So we're gonna bring Skelly in here to help us out again. Now really when we talk about body planes and sections, really what you're trying to do is you're utilizing this a lot for when it comes to looking at anatomical images, looking at different things. For example, if some of you guys are going to become clinicians, you'll have to look at a lot of different types of CT scans or MRIs, and those may come in different sections. And so it's important as you guys go through anatomy to be able to realize oh, that's a frontal or coronal section, that's a sagittal section, that's a transverse or axial section. Because it's really important because you can get different anatomical views from those different sections. So basic concept here. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna use here, Skelly's head. And I'm gonna give you an example of all the different sections and what it would look like on an actual image to give you guys a concept of what I'm talking about here. So if I take Skelly's head, I'm gonna show you three sections. One section we call the sagittal, sometimes it's also referred to as the mid-sagittal section. And all I'm gonna do is, the section here that I'm gonna be taking is gonna be going from anterior to posterior. And I'm just gonna go slice right down this portion here. So I'm gonna slice Skelly's head into two pieces on the left and the right, okay? And that will show us particularly an image what would that image look like? It should look a little bit like this. So you saw what a sagittal or mid-sagittal section should look like. Okay, the next thing here is an, uh, a frontal or coronal section. So with a frontal or coronal section, what I'm doing is I'm taking this section like this and I'm gonna cut Skelly's head down this way and I'm gonna use this section like this, well, boom. And when I cut Skelly, I'm gonna cut his head into an anterior and posterior piece. What would that look like on an image? It would look a little bit like this. The last particular section here is called a transverse. It's also called a horizontal. Sometimes it's even called an axial section. So we've covered mid-sagittal, going down this way, cutting it into right and left pieces. Frontal or the coronal cutting down this way, cutting into an anterior and posterior piece. The last one here is what if I cut him like this? So I have a section that's going from this part here right down the midline like this, and I cut him into an inferior and superior piece. So I cut him into an anterior and posterior with which one? The frontal coronal. I cut him into a left and right piece with the mid sagittal. I cut him into a superior and inferior piece with a transverse, horizontal, or axial section. What would that look like if I looked at an image? It would look a little bit like this. So within this video, we talked very simply about the different types of sections, that being the sagittal, also sometimes referred to as the mid-sagittal, the frontal or coronal, as well as the transverse or horizontal or axial section, and what that would look like in an anatomical image. I hope this made sense, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and as always, love you, thank you, and until next time. Thank you.